I'm working on a FM transmitter, this time a uh, vacuum tube transmitter. And I'm starting with this AM transmitter kit that I got from Antique Electronics Supply. And rather than mount it on a board, since the frequency is going to be quite a bit higher, I decided to put it in this metal box. And you can see that I've already drilled some holes. And here I've mounted the tube socket and the transformer from that kit. And this is what it looks like on the other side. I'm going to need some parts for this FM transmitter. And several years ago, I bought this very cheap radio. It was on sale. It works, but uh, my intention for buying it was to eventually use it for parts. So now's the time to do a little harvesting from it. And what I'm after are these two variable capacitors. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but I'm going to remove them from this printed circuit board. I have started building the power supply and now I'm testing the power supply and it looks pretty good. And all these parts here I wasn't really quite sure where I was going to locate them so I just started putting the parts on the tube socket and took a look at where the power and the ground was and that's how I ended up with this configuration. I've taken a look at the antique electronic supply transmitters diagram and also my past AM transmitter diagram and my most recent FM transistor diagram to get an idea of what I want to do. And by the way, that transistor FM transmitter works very well. So I decided I'll form a coil around the AA battery, this time using seven turns. And here I've mounted it on a terminal strip. That way, if it's too many turns, it's much easier just to uh, cut it down. Now I've also tested one of those variable capacitors that I want to use. And it shows that on the high side it is 153 picofarads and on the low side it is 24 picofarads. I've gotten the project far enough along now and I have quite a bit of s stuff soldered in, but as you can see, I've got quite a few alligator clips here. And the most important of the alligator clips is the one that goes to the coil. This is the B plus lead. And this will allow me to move that connection up and down the coil to find the best connection for this transmitter. I th thought I'd show you this project so far. I've been experimenting. You can see lots of alligator clips, very useful. And I've been moving the B plus uh, along the coil here to where I think I get the best results, but I'm not real sure yet. The tube's warmed up. There's my FM radio. Really it would take money away from Uncle Dick. If it would just be more in There it is right there. Now that hum could 
could be from the power supply, but more than likely it's coming from uh, the tube itself actually modulating that. In other words, I've got an uh, impedance mismatch or an open on a grid, and it's just, you know, picking noise up out of the air, modulating it on FM right now. But this is a biggie. Just getting it on the air is a real good start. This is the wiring diagram of this FM transmitter project so far.